Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory, Abba Father. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. <clears throat> Before I release this word, I want to first of all let you know, when I talk about prodigal, in this message specifically, what God is telling me is not just about marriage. It's not all just about fiancé. But whatsoever you connect yourself to in this message, it shall work for you. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. <clears throat> Because I know we're in a generation where people talk about prodigal quickly. People are like, ah, my fiancé, oh, the one that disappointed me. But if that is your own side of the message, you can receive it. A prophecy for one, it is a prophecy for all. So I quickly want to clarify that aspect before I release this word. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Your prodigal is finding his or her way back into your life. What is this prodigal? I want to analyze, you understand? Because as a woman who also is a mother, I know when we talk about prodigal, especially there are some, I know there are some ministers who are just in that line of prodigal husband and wife, but this message does not really relate to that aspect alone. It is a general prodigal situation. Hallelujah. The prodigal in the Bible was a son. You know, the prodigal was a son that left and sold and did everything, but he returned back and the father accepted him back. Hallelujah. So the prodigal can be your fiancé that disappointed you, that the devil removed from your life. Or the, can be your, 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 your husband that is with you, but is no longer acting as if he's with you. He has turned to a prodigal. He, have been, he is not living a different life. He has change entirely he has become something else the vow that you vow at the altar it is not the thing that he or she is maintaining anymore so that person has become a prodigal you need to understand that you can be living with a prodigal like a prodigal is inside your home but you see that this person have gone so wide have gone astray this is the kind of prodigal that God is speaking about in this message. I hope that this message will bless you. Yes, you have a child. And you love this child too much. Uh, you love this child a lot. And this child used to be very responsible. Very well and okay. Very understanding. And it was brought up well. Suddenly the child has changed. But the child is still in your house. But you see that the child is change, has changed. He is not living a different life from what you taught him. She is not living a, a different life from what you taught her. Well, because the enemy have come to make her or him a prodigal. Hallelujah. And this is the prodigal that God is bringing back. Because the enemy is a coward who never wants unity in families, who never want unity in marriage, who never want unity among couples who are even about to get married. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Yes, the prodigal can be a good friend who wanted to help you and support your life, but suddenly the enemy remove him or her from your life. The prodigal will come back. You are like, this is not my friend that I used to know. This is not the person I used to know. Why? Because when men slept, the enemy came and they invaded. He hear me very well. Even the prodigal is scared of losing you. The prodigal does not even understand why he or she have changed. Why they are bad on you. Why they left you. Why they are being rude to you. Why it is difficult for them to change and be that good person that they always been to you. But child of God, hear me. We serve a God. The Bible said the hearts of kings are in the hands of God. And he turned it to where Wherever he want to turn the heart, he will turn the heart to that place. Yes, God is turning the heart of that prodigal. Yes, they will receive understanding. And that satanic hand that dragged them away from your life, that hand will wither. Hallelujah. The prodigal is very scared. The prodigal can give an example of you. Oh, I used to be this when I was with this person. I used to be this when my mother speak to me. I used to be this 20 years ago. This is not who I used to be. Why? Because the enemy have gone. 
to sow and to destroy. But Jesus has come to restore and to give life. Your prodigal is coming back. I pray that the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.